Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm Han Solo, your host, and this is the Quest for Glory, where we play games with little to no experience in those games in attempt to reach top tier of those games, which tonight we had a good start, and then it kind of came back. So we're going to try it right now to push in this last hour all the way through to try to get some more wins under our belts. If we can get to that halfway point, I think we'd be looking in a pretty good spot. Um, halfway point on that wheel, um, which you'll see after the game. And we're going to try with Rakdos Aggro, which I do think is the best position to deck, especially with those three duresses in there. I think we'll be in good shape to deal with whatever's coming our way. So here we go. Man, I hope I don't miss those magma sprays. And a lot does seem to be determined by who goes first, so I'm hoping to pull that one off as well. I go first, okay. Alright, I'll keep it. Now I do need another land to make this magic happen. But we'll see. I'll take it! I'll take that. I understand. He was probably frustrated because he's probably been having the Knight of Nothing But Red Aggro decks. Whereas I've been having nothing but the Knight of Blue-White Control decks. I'll take that. I'll take that win. Oh, we get a card. And it is... The Sniper. I don't cycle that often. Um, so it's not a big deal. But that pack at 15 wins. I am I in that. That'll be a lot of fun. So we'll see. Now I know that uh, it's about 12.22 here right now. I don't know what time it is wherever you are. We have one viewer in, uh, but you may be watching this you know, after the fact, whether it's on Twitch or on YouTube, which we will be going live, or well, not live, we will be getting a channel on YouTube in the next couple days. Fix the hair, make sure we're presentable for all y'all. Um, and I'm hoping that that will be up and running. Uh, today is Sunday. Hopefully by next weekend you'll be able to see it. We'll have enough to make that happen. That time I didn't even play anything. <laughs> That's funny. But I'll take it. Again, I'll take it. I'll take the wins, man. I'll take the exploding heads for no reason. Um, was it so? I you can't even say anything to them. He, he had no way of knowing. Was that the same player? This is the only thing I can think is that that was actually the exact same player. It was like Twisted Twisted Lime or something like that. Was that his name? Or her name? In this case, maybe. Oh, he doesn't even know that I was playing the same deck, is the thing. Okay. I think I have played Rain in before. Like tonight. I might have. I don't remember. I don't remember. Kind of The names all kind of bore together, except for Lid, who I made a great joke about in, I think, part two. Uh, so that was great. That was well worth it. I would watch the entire series for that joke. Opponent goes first. Whenever we get this map, man, it's bad. It's pretty good. The dress is pretty good. The question is, do we play dress turn one? I think we do. Will be taken. What are you about? But I gotta tell you, I'm not that concerned about this hand, um, which is great. His hand. I should have played this guy. Goofed. I hope that that does not kill me. We are going to abrade the Death Baron, though.
And I need a black source. But that was a good duress. That was a good first turn duress. Sweet. That feels good. And he'll attack. So it is cool to actually see a zombie deck. This is the first time I've ever seen one. Um, it is cool to see that. Do we four ping him? What does this do? So she will be able to he will be able to do that this turn. So do we play Chandra and then three two? But we need that black source, man. He gets two zombos. Ugh. I know. Okay. We're gonna play this. We just wanna flood that board as best we can. Do we all attack? No, we wanna protect Chandra. I think it's way more important. Right, okay. What is this deck? This is a neat little deck. Hope it doesn't kill me. But if he is coming my way, I am going to block with the Bomac Courier. Yep. Okay, what we're going to do is we need that black source. We got to start killing critters, though. Yeah, but we need to keep her alive, too. All right, another blocker. Cool. Uh, will that keep her alive? No. This guy. Will you block it? Oh boy. So beefy lads. I even dressed him too. Would I take originally? I forsake the world, they should have taken the mastery. <laughs> now we know. Now we know. Yup. I'm gonna block one of them. You dingus. Kill this guy, man. That's what we can pull. All right. Yeah, that's actually what we're gonna do. I mean, if he has another buff, then I'm just dead. Um, <laughs> but if he doesn't, then I'm not. We'll see what he pulls. Should have taken the Liliana's Mastery. Man, I didn't read it. I didn't really read it. I saw like a five cast spell and was like, what? And just... He's doing math in his head. Uh-huh. I'm going to kill one of them, which is great. Now 
locker. Let's do this. Doof. Oh, we might want the blocker. Yeah, we'll swing for four, but we will leave the other one to do a block with. Actually, I think we swing with both. Now we swing with this one. Just with this one. Um... next turn if he taps out we can kill him if he gets a buff he gets a buff <laughs> okay so it's not gonna have a buff but still kind of a buffy dude uh oh I need a glory bringer then I win otherwise I lose we've been here before and it's panned out um, so we'll see. It's not a glory bringer. <laughs> it's not a glory bringer. Um, okay. But we do the same thing. We swing. Four in the air. Why right, we don't swing that? Cause uh, yeah, one attacker. One attacker. We'll see. It's really gonna be a heart of the cards moment if he pulls the thing, the right. Right, like the destroy the sky boat card, um, then I'm in trouble. I'll block the one. <gasps> Do I lose? I think I lose. Yeah, I lose. Man, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. Uh, the duress. You know what? Magma Spray would have actually been better. Um, because I would have been able to deal with some of these zombos. Let's put Magma Spray back and let's just keep it the vanilla Rakdos Aggro deck. And, uh... Go from there. So... I mean, that was a good duress, though. I just blew it by not hitting Liliana's Mastery. I just thought, you know, oh, because I'd seen the other card before. I'd seen uh, Forsake the Worldly before. And it's been an issue for me. What else did I take out, man? Oh, and a braid. Okay. All right. We'll get back in, and we're going to start winning. That's what it's all going to be about. Man, I just want that 15 wins thing, man. I just think that's the, the most you can get, like, in an evening uh, before they, like, re-cut you off. <laughs> like, play too much, man. <laughs> going too wild on that uh, that Magic the Gathering. It's just a real thing, dude. You start playing, it's hard to stop. Meta was... Uh, I'm guessing a burn deck, in which case Magma Spray would be good. I don't know. My hair is just kind of doing what it wants now. It's really tough to adjust your hair in one of these cameras because it's like reverse. I mean, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. I mean, I'll keep it and I'll, I'll try to make it work. Oh, but it didn't have the scuttling land. So we're off to a better start. Probably has like the braid and all that. But Raid won't do him any good against Hazret the Fervent. Who I actually have the lands to play, which is great. So turn four, coming down. Shock, okay. 
As long as it's not hitting me. I know complaints. Especially because we got a special treat coming his way on turn four. Okay, so he swings in for two. Yep. Next turn I will kill that. I think. I think that's what I'm doing. Next turn I'm killing that. That's funny. Yeah. Man, these decks are fast. That's alright. Really? That was interesting. Do I kill the thing or play the thing? I think I play the thing, then kill the thing. You might have a lightning bolt here and just bolt me. In which case, it happens. One, two. Do I have anything to actually kill that? <laughs> I don't think I actually have anything in my deck that kills that. For sure. Interestingly, this is a, a situation where uh, Rekindling Phoenix would be amazing. And anything not Rekindling Phoenix is significantly less amazing. Seven. Oh, he's doing a lot of damage really fast, man. He's got to play another card, though, or else he can't. It's fine. Okay. Okay. I do play mine. The reason I didn't was because I do want to make sure I can play it and haste it out immediately if I have to. Hopefully he will be in a position where he attacks me and taps out this turn. Yeah, I can kill him next turn. Um, if I draw a land. Oh, no, I can't. I can't kill him next turn. I'll be, it'll be close. <laughs> but I cannot kill him next turn. But neither can heat, so that's pretty good. That's nice. That is a plus. I what he's thinking about, man. It took a long time to think about that. I don't know. I don't know. No creatures? I do. Yeah.
And if he draws a lightning bolt, he just he just wins. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh! Oh! So close. Thanks. I just gotta block with these two, okay. Why not these two? Because if I have them jump block next turn, I'll still kill him. What you got? Ah, uh, okay. All right, I think we got him. We'll see, I mean, this is gonna be the moment of truth right here. Because he can deal. Good game. Yeah, I've had somebody play this shit on me before. Somebody good game me right before they commenced beating. Oh, it was bad, they just straight dommed me. So I went in to attack, because I had said good game. I was like, sweet, I go in the haze of pollen me, nobody can win. Um, I think I still got him. I think I still got him. Because I think he's trying to do what, I, what happened to me, but I think I still got him. Yep. If he blocks this one, three, four. Yeah, he's dead. He dead. Nice. Ah, okay, that feels good. That feels good. I mean, it's tough with, with burn. I, I thought we were going to lose it. I was kind of kind of getting discouraged, but then we pulled it through. Um... Okay, let's keep going. I think this deck honestly is the one that we want to stick with just because it's the most stable. Times 1243, we got plenty of time. Oh, we got the things. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. In draft. <laughs> Alright, let's see. All right, let's keep it going. Let's try to get back on that board, man. I don't know. It's it's a tough game because like at at a certain point you really do just have to kind of play the odds. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of choice. I don't want to say that it's like because uh, there's so much talent that goes into it. There's a reason someone like. Oh boy, what's happened here? Someone someone like Alice B, who I was talking about earlier, Lewis Scott Vargas, is so good at the game, he just doesn't make mistakes, typically. Um, he just plays so much, just knows so much about it, and, you know, so you're a little bit, your guesses are a bit more educated. Um, and that helps a lot. Ooh, two canyon slews. Tricky. We'll try to get this in. What are you doing for one? <laughs> what are you doing for one land? This is nothing. All right, get in there. Ooh, it's blue white control. I hate you. Yeah, we want to do this guy. Oh, we want to just slam. You know, we want to get in there. Um, so he'll counter probably. 
Because he's control. He didn't! It's very nice. So we swing in. Canyon slew will be kind of important. What are you doing? Why is he looking at his land? Blink of an eye. Okay. Weird. It's a weird use of that. Looks like that kicker is so valuable that it's kind of weird to see that happen. You gonna counter a Vomac Courier? <laughs> Nah, I didn't think so. All right. And in we go. Okay. Cast out. Okay. Oh, he's tapped out, though. What's nice is next turn we can go Soul Scar, Bomat, and then into one of our Bomat carriers. So, Bomat, because we want to pull a counter if he does have one. Right. Soul Scar. And let's actually. Um, I just don't know how this is going to, because I want to trigger the pro S, target my guy, and then in response, uh, zap him, but I don't know if that's actually how that'll work. Oh, but it wouldn't, but I would have lost my guy. Uh, does he have a set all the wreckage? That would suck. That would suck, but I can get like all my shit back, so it doesn't really matter. Don't know what he's thinking he's going to pull. Redraw draw a card. Is he going to try to mill me? Is that... Um... So you got five, three, four, five. I'm gonna attack with that many, three, four, five, um, because I don't want to lose any more than I have to to the settle the wreckage. That was odd. Uh, I figured that since he was playing, playing like that, he must have had something. But he didn't, so that worked out. <sighs> Soon. Soon we'll be back on that board. I promise. Alright. Yeah, see, we don't get anything else. We have 15 wins. That's about it. Well, at a certain point, you really don't get anything worthwhile because you're just sort of like you have your deck, you have your you know your play style, and everything's together. So there's really not much point. Although it is fun, it is fun to open the packs and see the, the like the revealed cards and all that. So can't fault him for that. Sphobi. cool. All right, man, I want I hot pancakes so bad, but I think they're closed. Sometimes IHOP like does this like ridiculous uh, minimum. Oh, that's a sweet hand. Uh, a minimum purchase of like fifteen dollars. And I don't mean to say that minimum purchase is ridiculous. Just the minimum purchase of like fifteen dollars is ridiculous. 
I was like, I, man, that's a lot, you know? Like, especially if you're like one person. Oh boy, he's in for a, our friend here's in for a real wild ride. It's just gonna keep getting worse. <laughs> really. Alright. He's mana flooded. I think. All right. I'm doing 8 damage a turn, it's pretty good. Let's see if it lands. I mean, he could have a counter. But even then, I'm still swinging for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright. I think it goes to one. <laughs> so we'll see. Yeah, down to one. Alright. Let's see what you pull. Dire Scorpion. Let's see if that put us back on the board, because that would be so nice. Man, we still got a little time. The show's not over yet, guys. So don't get too carried away. I'll tell you that much. Got a little bit of time left. And dug ourselves out of that hole. We're back into it. Okay. Back on the quest for glory. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I think this is the deck. Like, I, I love playing the Angel deck. I love playing uh, Grixis Control, but this deck is just too stable. Squee on my Jace. Not today. Man, that rhymes with... Do you think he knows that that rhymes with pee on my face? Someone should tell him. Yeah. That's pretty good. I'm not going to abrade that because it's more valuable to let him put something down and then abrade it. So he taps something and then... Ooh, or that could happen right now. Did not think that that would be how that went. Skyboat, man.
Actually, I gotta kill that. Because I don't technically have a turn three play, what I'm gonna be doing is uh, upgrading it. I will play this. Skadoof, and he goes. I do want him to tap again to lose this turn of damage. So, we will let that happen. And then play a Braid. Mm -hmm. So we want to play a Braid on his turn when he crews uh, the Hark Ran. First Goblin Chain Whirler. Next turn we'll play our second one. This card is Banana Town, man. If he plays that, we may want to play our Pia just to get something down to block that. I think we actually will cycle this when, it, when the time comes. Because five land is pretty good. We're set on five. Is this me? Am I the one that's supposed to be doing something? I wonder what he's thinking about. Timeout used, yeah. Is he did he leave? I hate when they do that. Well kind of it's also kind of like I get it. I've played been playing a bunch of blue decks all night, man. Squee on my Jace. <laughs> he knows. He knows what's up. Did he literally go to the bathroom? Or like when I say literally, I mean is he actually using his timeout for like a for like a timeout purpose, like to 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 go to the bathroom or blow his nose. You know, if if you take a long time blowing your nose or a short time going to the bathroom, I suppose that would kinda of, you'd have to be in the middle pocket on both of those for this to be reasonable. And I'll take it. Because I think his head explodes if he doesn't do anything. Or it becomes my turn? Okay. Do we kill the dude? Thing is, I think so. I think he left. Man, I get it, dude. It's easy to get it. like so. The term is tilted when when you lose a series of games or when you're put in frustrating situations again and again, and it wears you down to a point where you're now making angry choices. You know, you're writing angry, you're you're playing angry. Uh, it's it's a term. Uh, I think, I think it's from Overwatch, the game Overwatch. That community really uses it, but it, you hear it everywhere. So it might have been League of Legends. Might be a League of Legends is a huge game, man. So it's it's probably from that. Chandra blew his head up. Uh, okay, I guess he did leave. Although I've never been been that upset. I mean, I've been I've been sad when we played like when Nexus of Fate wins. I'm so upset because that deck is terrible. Um, just the whole thing. 
but uh, I don't know. I think uh, I think it's pretty easy to just concede the game, go on to the next one. We'll play one more, and for better or worse, this is going to be our last game. Hopefully it does take us just a little bit higher on our quest of glory. Um, quest for glory, I should say. Uh, but if it's a loss, it's a loss, and that's how it is. Um, we'll see. And we will be playing Pixie. The Pixie with a V out front. Nice. That's a, that's a lot of flavor. It's a very cultural uh, thing. I mean, it's so warm in here. <laughs> I turned off the AC. It sounded terrible. I couldn't have the AC you know, in the background while I'm trying to, I'm trying to do my thing. Mm. I should mulligan that. It would be irresponsible to keep that hand. It's better. It's much better. Do not need. Do not want. We'll get out our fiery Eddie. Flaming Eddie. The problem with fiery Eddie is it sounds like I'm saying fiery Yeti. When I'm saying fiery Eddie. Uh, yeah, so it's tough. Tough call. Alright. One less shock to worry about. These both do the same amount of damage, so there's really no reason to not put up one or the other. And she blocks, so if he gets up the Bomat Courier, I would have rather hit her. Well, if he lightning bolts it, yeah. And that was going to be an issue no matter who I was playing. Oh, boy. What's the pixie waiting on, man? I mean, I'll just hit it. Gonna braid it. All right, swings for four. Take him down to sixteen. I'll take him down to seventeen. Just a little bit. We're still pretty neck and neck here. Jeez. Remember how I scryed to the bottom of lands? That is one, two, three, four lands in a row. That's crazy. So you know what? There's no reason to do that. We want to wait to his turn just to make sure there isn't a more compelling target to hit with that. I'm not looking good right now. I am not in a good spot. Unless he is also flooded for lands, I'm in a bad spot. Yeah. Man, I need something. I need Chandra. I need Glorybringer. Hazaret would be sick. Really anything that is not a land, like even a, uh, oh, Disintegration would suck, because I need that black source. That's Banana Town, man. That's Banana Town. <laughs> banana Town. See, that's tilted. This is tilted. Uh, but it's not, it's tough to, like, get that upset about it, because you're like, I mean, what could you have done when you drew five lands in a row on a mulligan where you scried one to the bottom you know, what would you have done differently here we go yeah it's the end folks that's the end good for him Okay, I know I said, wow, you go so far down. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This rank system has got me feeling ways, man. Maybe this was not the best one to pick for a quest. Maybe we should have done like StarCraft or something. Where like you can get better and as you get better. Well. I love the game, though. I love Magic, so I'm just happy to play it. Um, and its I know much more about Magic than I do about StarCraft, so I'm glad I'm here talking to you guys, because I look like an absolute fool on StarCraft, and I, I, don't, you know, I make mistakes here, too, so I can only imagine what StarCraft would be like. 
But I guess that is sort of the theme of the show is that we go out and I, I really do want to show people that it's it's able you're able to win and learn and play and get better at a game that you knew nothing about to start with. Whoo. That would have been irresponsible to keep. Because I had two Bill Matt careers and that was my whole hand. Oh no. Oh no. And it's good. It's better. This looks bad, guys. I need that land to get to my glory bringer. Oh, and it's blue. Oh, oh, and it's this blue. <laughs> Hate it. Hate it. His job. Actually, I'm kind of glad that we do get to see this on stream. Um, because I have not really gotten the chance to explain this deck that we're playing against. It is a combo deck, like Nexus of Fate, where he wants to just draw a whole lot of cards, play a whole lot of creatures that are all artifacts, and uh, that will enable him to like, hit me for like 50 damage or some ridiculous bullshit like that. All right, he could have counters. I forgot about that. This guy is your is your issue right here. So we have to kill him. See, he's gonna get all these thopters. Oh, the uh, chain whirler would have been nice on this, actually. I mean, what's he gonna do, right? One, yeah. We've got to kill this guy, so I've got to get to five to kill this guy. Oh, this would knock him down to it. Well, we'll alright, next turn we're going to swing in with these guys. We're gonna Magma Spray, Old Man, <laughs> Old Man Gary over there, Thopter Gary. This deck is tough to play against, man. It, it's a lot like Nexus of Fate, where you're just like, ugh. Like my thing is like, that, like so I've, I've been playing the blue-white control a little bit off the stream. It's, I mean, I don't really like it. Like, it's, I, I, I don't get it. I don't get the draw to decks like this. Because it's like, you're not really playing the game. I don't know. It's just like, oh, I figured out the deck that, uh does everything infinite times and it's like okay cool man I need another uh, goblin and a chin whirler so bad oh land and just about anything anything that will let me kill Thopter boy Thopter Gary man this is bad <laughs> this is bad he's getting set up man that's no good My turn. Okay, let's see what we got. That is, well, alright, as long as we're getting close to Glorybringer, that is important. Let's see what he does. Kill Thopter Gary, man, because Thopter Gary is out of control. Excellent.
honestly, this isn't that bad, losing Glorybringer. Because um, as long as we clear out his his critters, it's okay. Because he gets all he gets all of his goodness from his critters, um, so we need to make sure that his critters are dead and dying. We gotta keep killing kill those Thopter Garys. It's another Thopter Gary. <laughs> All right, we'll kill him. Don't you worry, we'll get him. Uh, just keep swinging. Just keep going. Come on, Gary needs a new pair of shoes. <gasps> Excellent. Now we can keep pinging him for two, which is nice. I just don't want him to go off this turn, man. I hate you, Thopter Gary. I hate you so much, Thopter Gary. Alright, uh, four, one, two, three. Yeah, we gotta kill Thoppy Gary. Hey, over here! It's just too important to kill Thoppy Gary. <laughs> What? What are you waiting for? Is he gonna try to convoke a, a disallow? Okay, I'm into it. Yeah, I'm into it, man. Let's get him. All right. As long as we're killing Thopter Garys as they come down, we'll be okay. Alright, that ain't Thopter Gary. I don't care about that. That is the thing that will kill us, though, if we're not careful. He, um, he will uh, gain 50 life and murder me. <laughs> so. Alright. He knows he's in trouble because we've been killing his Thopter Garys. If you kill the Thopter Garys, this deck kind of peters out. But if you got another Thopter Gary, we've got to have mercy on our souls. All we can do now is hope the TG does not come out. It's Thopter Gary! <laughs> We need a murder spell on Thopter Gary. Okay, um, and then this one comes out. That's pretty great. Although, I think we want to swoop combat first. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. So we will kill those. That's pretty nice. So 
nothing in hand. What's he doing? All I need is like a sacrifice and artifact. Draw a card. What's it thinking about? <laughs> Can we kill with, uh, with Optic Gary again? Takes three. Okay. Man. We gotta kill Optic Gary. He just refilled his hand. <laughs> okay. Down to five. Yeah, but he's gonna be—he's gonna have enough to block, though. This might be helpful. If we just keep playing creatures, eventually we will have too many for him to block. But Thopter Gary is about to go bunny in a towns on us, man. He's about to play all these cards are like free to play or like one to play, so he's just gonna keep he's just playing them all. Maybe we're just on past turn right now, man. It might be too late to kill Thopter Gary. <laughs> That's the problem. Unless we draw a Goblin Chain Roar, in which case, never too late. This is why I hate this deck. See, like, what it's doing right now? Like, come on. How many cards you got? 24? Ooh, that's kind of like that critical number. 25 and under, where combos can kind of happen. Like, no big thing. If he gets to 50 life, we lose. We gotta get that chain whirler. Oh, is that 28 life? Ugh, this is disgusting. And it's such a long, like, it just wastes so much time, man. Like, you're not playing the game. I'll never understand why there are magic players that do this. Let's see if he gets there. He might, he might be seven short of the death spell. Wish that works out. Man, I hate that deck. Hate that deck. That, like, it just, it's so similar to, why? Why does it go down so fast? Let's try one more, man. I know I said for better or worse, but I just I didn't think we'd be stuck playing one of those. Um, man, we almost had them. Like we had a good board state. God, I hate those decks. I really, and it's not going to rotate out. Is the problem? At least to the best of my knowledge, like it's going to be around. I hate Dr. Gary. Oh well. That's how it is. That's how it is sometimes. It, you just you can't stop people from playing the way they want to play. Just gotta learn to roll with it. That's gonna be really nice um, if we can get there.
got one more turn <laughs> to draw hopefully another land hopefully another land The reason I'm doing this is because it doesn't really... Like, we're not pressured right now. And we'll get more out of the Chain Whirler if... He's going to swing for four. Ugh. Stinks. We may actually want to kill this. Rather than... Let's actually add and play Kieran. Then next turn we're going to be able to play two Goblin Chain Warlords. It's going to be good. Uh, because of the two off of Chandra. I mean, I'll trade sh uh, Kieran's. I'll trade hearts to Kieran. Do it, man. <laughs> He's thinking about it. So we're gonna add two. Yeah, you're going down. That Harvester is actually going to be a little bit of an issue, but we're swinging in with so much that I'm not that worried about it. I'll play another one next turn. Thank you. Appreciate that. And then this one gets our artifact. All right, what you got? Now the question is, will he crew it? Oh, what's he got in hand, man? Yeah, I was going to say, what do you got in hand? Alright. He doesn't kill my dude. That makes sense.
I think everyone goes in. To kind of force something here. that work? Because that would be really frustrating if that didn't work. Did that not work? <laughs> I hate it. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> uh, okay. Do you have a life link? I should save that. Oh, I'm, I'm mad. I'm sorry, I got mad. He shouldn't have been able to block, and then I do down to the five. Why? I don't know. Some. I don't know, man. I don't blame that on me. I, that that something would happen wonky with the interface gets me almost every time, especially with those like abilities. But we'll see. I'm still feeling okay about this. I mean, almost anything we draw is like gonna be good. this and we try to hit the Aether Spear Harvester. That's the plan, Stan. One's getting through. For sure. One is definitely getting through. Okay. figure it out. Excellent. Oh, that's excellent.
Nice. And I'm declaring that like you are. Nice. That was cool. That was intense. That was whew, to the wire. So I'm I'm glad we we had a kind of a nice one to end on. All right, folks. We didn't. Technically, we came out higher than we started. We started with nothing there, and we ended with something there. So, something is infinitely more than nothing. So we're infinitely more progressed than we were at the beginning of the night. Look at that. So, that was our Labor Day super special. We went five and a half hours. That's uh, a few full-length movies. I hope you all enjoyed it. I will be coming back to you Tuesday night at, of course, 9 o'clock, 9 to 11, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, Sundays 8 to 11, except for, you know, your special holiday events like this one. Our stream is actually looking about as good as I think it will for, we're going to hit this plateau now that we've got our webcam, we got our uh, tri uh, scene transitions and all that. And we actually got a couple followers tonight, for which I'm very grateful, thankful, uh, thank you to you two that, that joined, the, joined the crew uh, tonight. And that's really all I've got in the way of announcements. So I will see you when the quest resumes.